They did not fight against the military, lose their lives fighting against the military just for us to come and lose the right to protest. Because the right to protest is the most sacrosanct part of, the, of, of, of democracy. In fact, many people who do not know about the fact that we are supposed to have a protest about hunger and hardship are going to be coming to this protest just because they are angry at the fact that they are telling us to not protest. Which if we vocally state that Nigerians have the right to protest, peaceful assembly, and free speech. No government, no matter the number of votes you got in an election, has the right to stop the people from dissenting. And what we've seen recently is that the government has been threatening, and they are saying that because of the issues of national security, that we should not embark on the protest, that they have intelligence, that some people want to hijack the protest and make it violent. Please, the go a responsible government, by now, if they are saying that since like two weeks ago, by now should have identified those people who want to cause violence and take them out of the space. And so that we that want to do peaceful protests can peacefully protest. But they are not doing that. Instead, they are asking us to not protest. Now, the demands of our protest, the question is that in a democracy, 